Hi guys, back again with a few more pages. Um, I did these, but I forgot to turn my video camera on, so I'm just going to show you quickly. It's nothing very exciting, um, but on this page, I just folded over an envelope. I cut the top of an envelope. Let me just get an envelope like this. I cut the top off, um, so it was like that, and then I just bent it round like so and slotted it on there. I don't have another big one like that. I've only got my little ones to show you with. And then um, I just sewed it along the bottom here. So we've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. And then the same on the other side. And then I just decorated it. I did a little bit of stamping on here. A bit of script stamping around it with a bit of the um, Distress Ink in the tea dye. Um, so you can just sort of see it faintly on there. And I just decorated this bit, but I forgot to turn the camera on, so um, never mind. And then that's just one of the little little flowers there. Um, and as well on this one, I just cut up um, where I made the extra bits of napkin on the paper, which is here. I cut one of them up and I made a tag and a little pocket. So all as I did on here, I didn't actually sew on here. I sewed around the pocket um, on here. I've added some, le um, yeah, a bit of lace and then a little bit of the velvet on there. And I sewed around the pocket and then I've actually just stuck it on the page. So it's a bit of like a faux um, stitching on there. So it doesn't come through onto the other side, uh, but it looks like it's been stitched on. But I just stuck it on with a bit of my three-in-one glue. Um, so... And then I made a, a tag here with some layers of lace and a little bit of the um, velvet on there. Um, so I just need to back that with it something. A bit of card. Um, and then we can got, pop that in the little pocket there. So that's what I did. I forgot to turn the camera on. But while as well also I did this. But you didn't need to see me do that. And that's just edge the sides um, of the paper so when I make my holes in there it just gives it an extra bit of support and all as I did to do that was the leftover paper that I had from cutting the other pages these pages I just because it's six inches it's the same length um, I just cut this down to one inch let's move these bits out of the way all as I did was cut a length of one inch like that and then just fold it in half so they're equal like so and then what you can do then is just make sure it's all level and what you do then all as I did was just slide it onto the page like that I stuck it on actually I stuck it on and then I sewed it down like so so then it just gives it that extra so it doesn't tear um like that so that i did that on all of them so that's what um that is so today what i thought i would do as i was in the middle of it let's have a look i'm going to make a little booklet here let's just get these out i added a few more bits of um uh, napkin on there as well so that's the one i did this but these these ones are i do have videos on that um so I will put a link down below. This one I've added it so it's square, but I believe the other one I did on a triangle. So that just gives you the extra little writing space there, little journaling, journaling space. And then I will be making some little paper clip um, embellishments just to hold these bits in. So that's what I did. And then I've just made, so what I'm going to do today, I've just made this little booklet. This is what I was doing. So this is cut off from the extra bit with the napkin on as well. So I've just cut up some bits of paper and folded them in half. And then, oops, we can stick that on there like that. And then what I thought I might do is just pop two little holes in there and then pop a little bit of um, seam binding on here. I dyed a bit of this this morning as well. And that was with... Um, it's like an orangey colour actually um, from the crepe paper dyes that I use that I make. So let's just stick this on here, pop these bits out of the way. So this is just a very quick, easy one. 
just going to pop a little bit of glue on here like this and then we can embellish it afterwards pop a little bit of oops ribbon a bit of lace on top maybe a little flower or something so what i'm going to do is just stick that on here let's just take one of these it's easier on tip move this about It's only a few little pages. It's just a little booklet to pop in a pocket. And then what I'm going to do is just get my little hole punch. Punch a couple of little holes in there. On the sides. Just to hold the paper in. Let's get a little bit of the seam binding here. Where's my scissors? Let's use my little ones. The end off. Pop this through. Like that. Oops. And what we need to do is just tie a little bow. So that just holds all the pages in together. And I think it looks quite pretty as well. bit neater that side and then we go one easy peasy little booklet I might actually round those corners off my little if they were all thick it looks a bit better doesn't it looks a bit tidier I think there we go Oops. oopsie daisy and we've got one little booklet let's distress ink just sort of ink around the edges just to finish it off like that. That looks a bit better. And we've got one easy peasy little booklet. So obviously you can put as many pages in it as you like, but I think I've got about six pages in there. I like that, so that looks really nice. Actually, pop a little flower or something on top. Let's have a look. I actually, made some little seam binding flowers as well here. Just pop the lid on there. So these, but I think they're a little bit too big to go on there. And I actually made some of the little one from. This is the velvet ribbon, so that was a little bit fiddly to make these flowers, but I thought they looked really pretty because they could actually go inside that. Um, on there so they look nice so maybe I shall add a bit to that later on so we we'll pop that to the side and then what else I want you to do because um, in my other rose journal I use some of the rose pages in here I have this book which is the gardening year book it's a reader's digest book um, so it's got all lovely flowers and pictures in it so what I did I cut up I pulled out two of these pages so obviously this is a rose on there because it's a rose journal um, and this one here which has just got some bits and pieces about plants and flowers on there so I've got those two and I've cut them down so that they're six inches this way um, I don't know the length what I did it is seven and a half inches and what I'm going to do I've got two of these here which I'm going to use because I'm going to edge them again like I did on here so I just stuck it down so I shall show you what I did a bit of glue glue it down like this a bit 
tongue. And then I will sew down the side. So that goes on nice and neatly. And then let's get a page here. So I know the size. Roughly. So then this will go. I wanted to go in a bit further than the other ones. So I'm just going to just so you can see that rose on that side. Oops, my main view. Yeah, look. So it can just open up. So it's a nice little page. You can actually even make it them into little pockets as well. So that's one. So I'm going to just um, I will sew down the side of there, and I'm going to pop a little bit of seam binding on the side so we shall do this one as well pop this down here you can ink them up first if you want to but um, i'm going to ink and gesso later when i finished it all i'll go around it with a little bit of gesso just so it gives it that nice sort of oldie woldy feeling to it. Like that. And then bend that in. Like that. So it gives it a little bit of extra to your page. And then what shall I do? Maybe I'll pop a little bit of um, velvet down the side of this one. Okay, let's get a bit of three in one. Add a little bit down the side. It'll come out. And I will sew through this as well, just so it stays on there. Although the glue is really good, it does stick very, very well, but um, I think it looks a little bit nicer when it's got a little bit of sewing down the side. There we go. Looks nice, doesn't it? And I can ink that up. And what should we put on this one? Let me pop that back. I'm going to pop a little bit of this. Which do you prefer? I think I like the pink. I think I'm going to put a little bit of pink down here. Like this. But I'm going to actually try and wrinkle it up a little bit. Normally I would just use the sewing machine um, and scrunch it up as it goes through. But what I will do here, put that on the side just for Wash it up just a little bit as it goes on. Like that, look. Snip it off like that. There we go, it's a nice little page, isn't it? And then what I'm going to do, I'll get some little paper clips as well, so we can make some paper clips and pop those in there. So then we've got another two extra pages there. So that's a bit of a napkin on there. So let's go through. So let's see what I've got so far. Because I do lose count. Oh, that's the one I actually stuck it on the page. Look, so it looks quite nice, doesn't it? So that just will slot in there like that. So that looks really nice. And really pretty and then we've got that one which I need to finish that's another one I did here look so it's the same sort of principle but I actually made it so the page is longer so I just bent over and just stuck the side down like that and then it just goes in and then we've got a little bit of seam binding down the side and these are just the blank ones Oh, that's a spare. That's probably one I was going to use on something else. So there we go. So that's these. And then this one I did. So we're going to put this on the inside of the front cover. 
So I've got it, I have a tutorial on this as well. So what I need to do is just make some holes in here and add the seam binding um, to make a little bow across the front. So these are very, very simple to make as well. So I'll pop the link to this one underneath as well. Um, but I just need to make a few little holes in this one. Should I do that now? I don't think my... This one. Oops. Let's put the lid, lid on there quickly. Right, so what I'm going to do, let's say about there. I'll use that to go all the way through. Just so we know, look, where to punch the holes. But I think I might use my bigger one. Let's see. This one does get the little things stuck in there, so it takes a little bit longer to use. No, I think that's too big. Go for this one. There we go. Oops. Pop little pockets and stuff in these. Um, I do have a tutorial, so I will actually I will add the link to the bottom um, under the video. Um, but you can on some of them that I've made, I made little pockets inside. So when you open it up, you've got extra little pockets and bits to put your bits and pieces in. But this one, I'm just going to add. Pop this through if it will go through all of them at once. Need it the length to open it up. Okay. So that should be about there. And we can do a nice big fold in here, look. So that piece sticks onto your journal and then you can do you just pull it out. So once that back piece is stuck down, it just pulls out. And then you just pull it back in again. And then you've got a nice little journaling spot in there. And then we have a nice bit of seam binding ribbon on there. It dingle dangles down, so I think that looks really pretty too. Okay, so what else can we do? What I might do is add a few little bits of lace and ribbon down the side of some of the blank pages. Where have we got? Here we go. A nice pile of them. Let's see. We have some nice white here. So it can go that way, or actually, so it goes that way, I think. Just sort of like adding little bits and pieces as you go along. Um, and just just adds to it. it. Takes a little while because I do sort of like go backwards and forwards and add extra little bits. So I'll stick that bit down. I'll make a few tags in the next video. I wanted to make some um, almost like snippet tags and to go in there. So that's that one done. Let's have a little bit. These are like little flowers, but they do get all your bits of cotton stuck in between them. So we don't want that stuck on the page, do we? Pull all these little bits off. So these are really pretty. This one we can pop down the side, I think. Okay. So let's 
start at the top. These ones will have to do one little flower at a time, I think. So let's just stick this on. Didn't quite enough room for another flower, but that's about right. Glue on each one. There we go. Nice mess here with the glue. There we go. I'm going to put this on this side as well, so it's either side. Let's go down this side. You're very concentrating, stop talking. Oh dear. Get some of this off, let me get my tissue. And I'll wipe this off. Start at the top again. Oops. Stick down. Make sure we've got them the right length. Nice big mess I'm making here today. I'm in, in view. Perfect. Okay. So I quite like them when they're on the edges because you still need a lot of room to journal on. So I think that looks really nice. Because it's like you've got that and these. Actually, put something onto this one, couldn't we? As well. And I've got these little flowers out because I think these are really pretty. There's a tiny little one there. I just do with a tag, here we are. Put one on the tag so it goes with a little pocket. What I did with these, I just um, cut them out and then I sewed obviously this little bit of um, velvet along the top. And then I'll back it because I don't want the sewing marks on them. So I'm going to stick this onto here so I can use this a bit on. Use some glue stick on this because then I can just sew around the edges to keep it all together. to the edge as I possibly can. Stick that down. Okay, get my big scissors out. Just cut around it. So 
obviously that makes it a little bit sturdier and also makes it back look a lot nicer. So we shall punch a little hole in there. And I can sew around that. Oops. And then that's all ready to go into the pocket. And pop that in there for later. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Okay, guys, well, that's a few little bits and pieces that I've done to add to the journal. Um, I will be a little bit more organised next time, but it just put me off because I didn't put the camera on before. So, um, there we go. So, there we go. That's sort of like a little craft along with me. Um, so, um, I will be, as I said, I'll be a bit more organised next time and we will do some more tags. So I want to make some tags out of all the little bits and pieces here so it looks all sort of shabby and pretty all right guys thanks for joining me um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and a big thumbs up would be great all right guys take care speak to you soon bye bye